let a body moves from point A to the point B. It covered a total distance of 10 meter in 5 seconds. Now to calculate the speed of a body, we divide distance by time. I mean speed is equal to distance divided by time. Distance is 10 meter and time is 5 seconds. So 10 meter divided by 5 seconds, we get 2 meter per second. Now 2 meter per second is the speed of a body between the point A and the point B. Here the question is, what is mean by 2 meter per second? The answer is very simple. It tells us that this body have covered 2 meter distance in every second. Now let me clear you a concept about distance and displacement. We know that when we say 5 meter, 10 meter, they are distance, a length between two points. But remember that we do not know in which direction. 5 meter distance in this direction, this direction, are in this direction. But distance only gives us the size or magnitude of space between two points are locations. Distance does not talk about the direction, hence distance is a scalar quantity. But now if I say, a body moves 5 meter towards right from point A to the point B, now here we exactly know that 5 meter is a distance. Now what about this direction? Means toward north. Can I say that this whole thing is the modified form of distance? Or I can say that is this distance in a specific direction? The answer for this both question is yes. This whole thing is the modified form of distance. Or I can say that this is a distance in a specific direction. In physics, distance in a specific direction is known as a displacement. Therefore, displacement is a vector quantity. Remember that 5 meter is distance, but 5 meter towards right is displacement. Similarly, if I say that speed of a body is 30 meter per second, now if someone asks me in which direction, this, or this, or this, I will be unable to answer this question because speed gives us size of rate change of distance with respect to the time. 30 meter per second means that every second your rate change of distance is a 30 meter. Now to answer this question we need speed plus direction. The speed plus direction becomes a new quantity and scientists call this new quantity a velocity or I can say that speed in a specific direction is a, known as a velocity. If I say 30 meter per second, it is a speed. So speed is a scalar quantity. But when I say 30 meter per second towards north, it is velocity. Hence velocity is a vector quantity. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. If I write speed is equal to displacement divided by time and velocity is equal to distance divided by time, then why these both are wrong? Yes, at left side speed is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity. Here left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Here, it left side is a vector quantity and it right side is a scalar quantity. Hence, left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Therefore, these both are wrong formulas while these both are correct formulas. The SI unit of speed is meter per second and the SI unit of velocity is also meter per second in a specific direction. Now to give you examples of speed and velocity, let's consider 
there are two cities city a and the city b there are two roads between these two cities road 1 is 30 km and road 2 is 18 km south now road 1 is a clearly distance and road 2 is a displacement let a car move by road 1 from the city a to the city b and 5 are let another car moved by road 2 in 2 hour can you tell me about the speed and velocity of these two cars this car has speed while this car has velocity when we divide 30 km by 5 hour we get 6 km per hour 6 km per hour is a speed and when we divide 18 km south divided by 2 hour we get 9 km per hour towards south now this is velocity because it is speed plus direction remember that there is a big difference between average speed and average velocity let a body moves in a circular path from point a and then come back to point a and a 2r in a circular way now here the distance is the total circumference of a circle average speed is equal to distance divided by time as distance is the circumference of a circle which is 2 phi r divided by 2 r now here we have every speed but the total displacement of the body is zero as the initial and final point of the body is same or we can say that the body haven't displaced at all we know that velocity is equal to displacement divided by time displacement is zero hence v is equal to zero divided by 2r and we get velocity is equal to 0 meter per second so in this situation there are more situation like this uh, where we have every speed but average velocity is zero i hope you have understood the concept of speed and uh, velocity mm -hmm.